this is the latitude 5440 so today in this video we would know how to replace the battery the cooling fan i mean cpu fan and ram stick okay to do this we need to take out this back cover so here is the phillips screwdriver automatic and manual flat opening tool plastic and metal and the screw organizer pretty much that's all and in case if you need any thermal paste here is the one but i don't think so we need it because this is quite new so first of all make sure you switch it off completely i just want to check if there is any battery power okay so this is turning on we're going to completely shut it down if this is on that's the first thing we need to do So press and hold the power button. And I can see the still light is on. So this is now completely switched off. At this moment, I'm going to take automatic Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to take out all the screws. Now we're going to take flat opening tool and we're going to start from here. Try to pry a little bit. Don't push it too hard. Try slowly all around. Then the back cover should come off easily. As you can see, this one is already taken out. All right, so the first thing that we should do, disconnect the battery because this battery is quite powerful. And there is still 40% charge. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out all the screws first to make it easier. And I would suggest you please keep the screw organized so you don't miss it, you don't get confused where to put it back. And now we need to pull the tab straight up, okay? Make sure you double check because some models are different. So what you need to do, we need to pull the tab straight up. Now this is already disconnected. And here is the battery model as you can see. This is 54 watt hour and 11.4 volt and that's the model number. So if you need any replacement, you can get one like this. I would suggest you try to use original battery because Dell is really sensitive. If you need one, you can get to their website and order the replacement. Okay. And now if you look at the main board, we can see here on the right left hand side, there is the fan. There is a single CPU fan and two memory slot DDR4. And the fan is quite big, secure with a couple of screws. And here is the short form NVMe SSD on the right hand side. And if you would like to upgrade the RAM stick, then pull these two fang from the side. And that's the model number. This machine comes with 32 gig, 16 plus 16 dual channel so when you push it down sometimes it doesn't go so in that way you need to help a little bit to the metal fang from both side push it down that way and it should be secure if it doesn't go help a little bit very careful because if you damage you're not going to see any videos on the screen and this CPU fan comes with two screws. We're going to disconnect the connector first. I always prefer my nails to do that. But be careful. This is quite stiff. So when you pull it, you might damage your nail. You can use two plastic pry tool. 
and once you remove two screws you just need to pull this off but sometimes this CR2032 CMOS battery will disturb so put it away and pull up like that as you can see the fan is still neat but if you'd like to replace you can replace it that way give it a clean and you can put it back by securing these two screws plus the connector so let's put it back everything that's the way you replace the CPU fan battery and upgrade the memory stick